Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at Sacerdotum. Now I have covered them once before about a year or so ago I think. Uh, I did a track called um, Don't Don't Drink the Blood I think it was called and um, if I remember correctly it was pretty heavy pretty brutal death metal. Uh, now the band Sacerdotum as I mentioned in that video is a solo project from Tarkan Alp who is the singer of the band Cull who I've covered quite extensively on here uh, a few years ago um, now he sent me a message a little while ago saying you know would you mind looking at some of my newer stuff because it's quite different he said like where's the where I've checked out don't drink the blood which like I said was pretty brutal death metal he said he's now incorporated some sort of industrial sounds into the music uh, he's he's even apparently got some ballads going on uh so th this really intrigued me uh so i'm going to be looking at uh a new track or i think it's a new track a relatively recent track let's say uh by sacerdotum called a minor thing um now I couldn't find any lyrics for it so what I did I put the video on mute and I watched the lyric video and wrote them all down um, but I don't know what the actual song itself sounds like I've just read the lyrics and they're very interesting so um, without any further ado I want to jump into this track and see what this is like so let's uh, let's have a look at this so a minor thing by Sacerdotum let's have a look. Okay. Thank you. 
Well, um, what can I say about that? Except for, holy shit, that was fucking amazing. I mean, when I checked out the other track, um, Don't Drink the Blood, I never would have thought that this track, this track, could possibly come from the same band. This track is unfucking believable. I absolutely love this. It's got such a, it's got such a brilliant sound to it. It kind of reminds me of those sort of almost eighties sort of electro goth thing. You know, kind of like a little bit of Lord of the Lost sort of thing going on there. But you consider the sound of this to when I first listened to the other track. It's so different, but it is so good. I really, I love the performance of this. I love the minimalist style of the music. And the, actual, the, the, the vocal performance, it sounds like those sort of 80s electro goth bands. This has just completely blown my mind. This this was because I, I was expecting more death metal with maybe some sort of industrial sounds thrown in. That's kind of what I was expecting. But this is such a vast separation. I mean, I've seen some bands go through dramatic changes. I mean, you look at. Take Paradise Lost, for example. You know, their first album, dark, heavy, death, gothic, go doom sort of music. Ironically, um, one of their earliest albums was called Gothic. But, um, you know, when Paradise Lost started out, really heavy, you know, brutal, death, doom, metal. But then you get to albums like Host, which is basically Depeche Mode. You know, it's, it's a drastic change. But, I mean, that took several, well, it took decades, you know, over, you know, there's several albums, you know, between their first album and um, Host. But this, I mean, I don't know how much music Sacadotum's actually released. I've not actually looked that closely, and I can't remember when the band was formed. But the the difference from checking out Don't Drink the Blood to this track is just <clears throat> yeah I'm, I'm lost for words and i love the words to this track as well and like i said i love the performance the way it was sort of spoken but not quite you know there's a there's a sort of sung spoken sort of element to it and the sound of the voice as well sort of added more weight to it Yeah. And it I'm not even sure if I can quantify exactly what the song is about. It's it sounds like someone who's sort of not so much given up on themselves but they don't ha they don't like what they've become maybe. Um Let's have a look at the lyrics and we'll see if we can figure it out. It says, I lost myself, I lost my soul, each modicum of self-control. I lost my creed, I lost my crown. Once it's gone, it's never found. Lost everything, all to you, I'll do it again if you want me to. Is this shell the one you saw, which you despise, adore, abhor? Now, I just love that, that just first verse there. It just, the way it's structured, the way it's put together, the way it's worded, it's it's brilliant and i mean there it says lost everything all to you so you know he, he's a guy who sort of seems to be run down he's sort of possibly heartbroken or he's he, you know he's had his soul broken 
by someone, you know, this person's used him and maybe cast him aside, which is what it kind of sounds like just from this, you know. He, he, he's been mentally broken by somebody who he really cared for, and they've turned around and gone, you know what, nope, crumpled him up and thrown him away. That's what it sounds like, you know, he's, he's lost himself, he's lost his soul, so he doesn't know who he is anymore. You know, I lost my crown. Once it's gone, it's never found. You know, I've I've lost what was important to me. You th you made me feel important. You know, I lost my crown. You treated me like a king, maybe. Um, but now that's gone, and once that's gone, I'll never find it again. Possibly? I don't know. But he says, I lost everything all to you. I'll do it again if you want me to. So he knows this person's, like, treated him awfully. And they've broken him, you know, they've broken his spirit, they've crushed him and turned him into a shadow of his former self. But he loved this person so much, he'd be willing to go through it all again for that person, because they were that important to him. Maybe? You know. Anyway. Choking crowded quarantine. Talk the walk but lost my sheen. Polishing now only scars, each treatment only fucking Mars. Scratch the surface, take the pill, unique just like the other swill. Always circling the drain, also differently the same. So differently the same. Now again, there's lines in there that I really, I love the way this is written. It's brilliant. Um, you know, choking crowded quarantine, you know, you feel sort of claustrophobic as it were you know he feels like everything sort of collapsing in on him maybe you know he feels um trapped um talk the walk but lost my sheen so that to me it sounds like you know putting on putting on a fake smile saying you know like yeah i'm fine but really you know talk the walk but lost my sheen so i can make i can give an outward impression that i'm fine but inside you know i'm sort of broken and dying a little inside maybe uh, polishing now only scars each treatment only fucking mars so everything he does to try and make things better everything he does to try and make himself feel better just makes matters worse because he maybe realizes you know i'm do i'm trying to be happy without this person and it's just not working um you know every time i try it just makes things worse because I miss doing things with this person, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, scratch the surface, take the pill, unique, just like the other swill. I like that. Um, you know, take the pill, you know, that could be reference to things like antidepressants and stuff like that. Unique, just like all the other swill. You know, this one will help you. It's exactly the same as that one, which didn't do anything, but this one will work. Possibly, you know. Um always circling the drain you know so always sort of feeling like everything's just about to give out and you know be done with also differently the same i like that line it's brilliant anyway pay your taxes hold the line clock in just one more fucking time bend the knee and pay your tithe pray you'll always be alive for what another day of this clean up nice but still smell like piss all pretense all a facade hide the bruises hide the scars so pay the taxes hold your line clock in just one more fucking time so you know you just carry on the same tedious loop of you know wake work sleep you know it's it's all the same sort of thing, you know, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. You said you like just carry on with your life, you know. And you know, it's monotonous and it's tedious and you know nobody wants to be stuck in that loop. No one just wants to wake up every morning, go to work, spend all day at work and then come home just to go to sleep and do it all again tomorrow. You know, it's one monotonous, boring loop of it's it's not even life it's just existing um he says you know pray you'll always be alive for what another day like this you know you you want to live for as long as you can why just so you can do the same boring shit every single day you know like i said before this isn't living this is just existing you're not living life you're not going out and enjoying life um it says they clean up nice but still smell like piss. So it's like you might look great on the outside, but you still, 
No. Um, hide the bruises, hide the scars. I've had to do that a fair few times. They say it's such a tragedy is looking better now to me. To sleep perchance to fucking dream. I'm wide awake but still I sleep. The nightmares never seems to end. I've lost everyone that called me friend. Cultivate like friend pretend. We're all one. We're all alone. We're all one. We're all alone in the end. In the end. It's just a minor thing. Just a minor thing. Now, he says it's just a minor. I think that's more than just a minor thing with the fact that life is just so boring, miserable, monotonous. You know, it, they say it's such a tragedy, it's looking better now to me. You know. Um, and then that line there, I'm wide awake, but still I sleep. So it's almost like you're sleepwalking through life, maybe. You know, again, you know, the sort of get up, work, sleep sort of thing. You know, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. You're not engaging your mind or you're not doing anything interesting enough. You know, so you're just sleepwalking through life. That's what it seems to say to me. Uh, this nightmare never seems to end. And I've lost everyone that called me friend. Been there. Um, several years ago. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I absolutely fucking love this track. This track is absolutely amazing. It's not what I expected whatsoever. And I've been doing nothing but rant and praise this track. And... You know, I can't help it, you know, because, like I said, the drastic difference between the last track I listened to and this one is just so mind-blowing. And the performance, the, you know, like I said, I like the minimalistic style of the music, the, the vocal performance, the words, the whole thing is just amazing. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm going to stop gushing over this now because I, I could go on for ages just repeating myself about how great this track was. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.